Hi everyone, now continue our studio programming and uh, you can see here our file that is already there are the four windows. Let me repeat once again. This is the script window and there is the window. This is we can call it console where we will execute all the commands and this is the environment and uh, here is all the variables we have to put it here and the plots you have to see here. Now suppose we want to uh, draw a plot bar chart pie chart and everything would be uh, that would be reflected here. So now we are going to start uh, today. Let me close this file. First of all, you should understand how we have to import the data set. We will click here and this is my Excel file. So I have to click here and uh, where I had put it this file. Let me browse this thing on my desktop and this file is uh, uh, it is in this folder and there is the R studio right R studio and this is my file R file. I will open up this file and uh, let me import this file. Uh, I will press this import and you can see here in this console. This file is already open and e1 e2 all the variables are reflecting and as well as here in this file gender age each and everything is reflecting there so now what we have to do let me i will tell you one more thing already i had uh, we will finish in this uh, today's video all these program all these all these functions we have to do all we will run all these commands so now, first of all, how you have to change this color? Let me uh, go to tools, global options and uh, appearance. And uh, let me take this rather than this one is the, this is basically white one. I will, I would like to take, this is the color, um, pastel on dark, right? I would apply. Now you can see this my color is changed. So there is the more visibility now. So now one by one we will run all the commands. Uh, now first one is let me uh, tell you how you have to open this file. You want to see you want to see this is the file you want to see let's say head. Right, how many heads in this file? Let's see. Right, head. A moment you will write this and press tab. So automatically this function will come. Up head, I mean, this is my file name r underscore file. r underscore file, right? And then I will press enter. So you can see here, first six lines would be displayed. Okay, let me, I will increase the font size also so you can see appearance and here's the only 10 font size i would like to increase this font size 14 so i'm sure that would be there would be more visibility too so now no 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 i should uh, just a moment uh, more visibility but uh, at a time you could not be able to see so rather than 14 i can increase the size to 12 right so here is you can see here this is the complete file first six steps are first six rows would be visible here a moment you had typed here head r file right now what we have to do you can see here uh, now last file last six rows we want to see so i have to press tail again tab and what is my file name? R underscore file, R underscore file, press enter. So you can see these are my last six rows, right? E1, E2, E3, and these are my last six rows, right? And uh, you could be able to see here. And uh, import after import file, you could be able to see here, R underscore file, 371 observation and 23 variables. Next is we want to see summary of this file. So I will write summary, right? I will write summary, summary, again tab. And what is my file name is r underscore file. 
So I will press enter. Now you can see here complete summary of my file is here. Even minimum number, right? And median, mean, third quartile, each and everything, maximum number, E2, E3, G1, all variables, because I am carrying 23 variables as per, you can see two, 371 observations of 23 variables. So all these variables are reflecting over here. Next, we come to the uh, most important thing after summary. Let's say I would like to see one particular variable. Again, summary tab. But where is that variable? R underscore file, R underscore file. And now I would like to see, press dollar. I would like to see, let's say, E2, right? And I have to press enter. So E2, only E2 variable, right? This complete summary is reflecting here. Now, what we have to do, let's say, again, I would like to see, again, you have to press summary, right? I would like to see, let's say, another variable, right? R underscore file, right? And I would like to see in this variable, let's say, E3, right? So, I would press, then enter. You can see this is the summary of the E3 variable. But again and again, we have to write this much of command rather than these things should be reflecting here. These things should be reflect because it is kind of the variable. This is, let's see, suppose you are going to market and you are carrying a bag and uh, in bag you are putting up each and every time you are going to market and you are carrying the same bag, but articles, commodities has been changed. Sometimes you are buying vegetables, sometimes you are buying fruit, sometimes you are buying commodity, so, I mean cosmetics, sometimes you are buying various kind of commodities. So this is like this. I mean, whatever the variables you have to put it here, only these things would be uh, you are, I mean, you can carry it here easily directly these commands. So now what we have to do, let's say I would like to see these variable, let's say E2. E2 is not reflecting here because previous, through my previous um, command executions, I did H, B1, E1, G1 and gender. But I now I want E2 should also be reflect over here. So how it can be possible? First of all, I would like to define E2, right? I would like to define E2 here. E2 means here is, where is E2? R underscore file, where he will e2 underscore file right and again dollar sign and then e2 then e2 now moment you will do it you can see here e2 is also reflecting here e2 all the values of e2 is also reflecting here now i would like to see here is e1 e2 let's say e3 i want to see e3 here also. So E3, I would press E3 and e equal to an R underscore file, R underscore file dollar sign. And then I, then I will choose E3 and I will press enter. Now you can see E3 is also reflecting here. So I'm sure you understand because until or unless you will not do this, this, this exercise, it would not be reflecting here. These are reflecting only here. So now, uh, let's say I would like to go for this uh, dimensions of this file. So I have to press dim, right? Again, tab, where is R underscore file, R underscore file, press enter. So you can see dimensions of this file, is it would be visible here. 371 rows we have and 23 columns I have in this file. Total data sample size is 371 and total number of columns are 23, right? So now uh, suppose we, I would like to see attributes. So I have to press attributes, attributes, again tab. And where are these attributes? You could see here, R underscore file can press this. So total attribute 371 that would be reflecting and these are the row names. 
right one two three one two three right and this is the total attributes are and this is in the tabular form and this is this 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 complete file is reflecting here now what we want to see let's say i want to check class of this variable that is age right so that is factor because i had already defined this is as factor Now suppose let's say we talk about gender right gender i want to see class of class of gender right that is again because i had already taken it is as gender now i would like to see level of age let's say level of age so you can press here there are three levels there are three levels 30 to 45 45 to 60 i'm sorry four levels 30 to 45 45 to 60 above 60 and below 30 now i would like to see summary of summary right summary of age so you can see this is the summary of age 30 to 45 there are only two respondents in my data set and 45 to 60 there are only two respondents above 60 only one and below 30 means 366 so in a single command we will get to know what is the respondents age group so we can see in my data set majority of the respondents are below 30 years so we can say wherever we are using this file or we are going for further statistical analysis so we can say that is the study i had applied on youth because hardly we can delete because we, we can delete this data uh, because above sex, 60 is only one so we cannot say above 60 people are saying because this data set is very low i mean this this one is the respondent is number is very low same is we can delete this 45 to 60 and 30 because that is not proportionate and uh, these could be outliers so below 30 is 366 so i i think i should carry this 366 data sample size for further statistical analysis because that would be and i should use in my research work i should use word youth because this is the uh, opinion of i mean we can say this is the opinion of the youth next we come to the let's say i want to see let's say i want to see um summary of gender summary of gender summary of gender see in my data set how many for 146 are female and 225 are male right so in that way you can check your all the variables and i would like to show you um a moment just a moment this one is the data type data types are basically we can categorize four kinds of data right before starting going going for this let me take my yes this color of pan right here is the this one is the numeric Second one is character, logical, and complex. Numeric, that is entirely, all these are numbers. It could be any number. Character means when we are taking as a string. Uh, in the inverted commas, my name is Ram or whatever. It could be, it could be male, female, is, it is a character. But logical means true or false. And complex means, let's say we are taking any complex in a complex number. I mean, along with this complex equation we are going to take. So that would be type of data. It could be complex. Uh, next thing is, uh, so I'm sure all these things we have run. So please uh, do practice of this. And in the next session, I have to go for some more kinds of analysis and definitely I'm going to draw a 
plot, I'm going to plot a curve also. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Thanks.